Hello YouTube, how are we doing? We're back with the uh, Tatara again and tonight's setup is the Mass Mooney handle <coughs> which and there is a yeah, Mass Mooney handle we have the Mass Mooney top cap and we have the Nodachi base plate so in this configuration we have a 0 0.9 millimeter blade gap and a negative base a negative blade exposure of 0 0.03 millimeters so it should be something like the home like start blade gap wise and with the negative blade exposure hopefully it'll be quite comfortable but efficient. A few comments about the razor that have been made from the last few videos. It isn't cheap. I didn't buy it. It's on a pass around. It's on a loan. If you're looking for a titanium razor, there's not that many on the market. Is it good value? That's for you to decide. Not for me to tell you. Uh, I like it. Would I buy one? Probably not, no because of the amount of money and the cost involved hand on heart honest as ever there you go should read in the channel honest martin shaves to the new subscribers there's been a few hello we're sticking with wickham's and tonight we are going full on gothic revival uh, soap splash and balm this was a limited edition two years ago by Darren. It's a take on Eucharist by Trumper. But it's better than their soap. It's Wickham's for crying out loud. I say it was a limited edition. It's been recommissioned in another limited edition by Ian at the gentleman, Gentleman's Groom Room. I'm not sure about the balm, but I know he's got the splash available along with the soap and yeah it's been recommissioned by Ian and it's only available from the groom room it's currently available there link to the groom room in the description below if I remember so Gothic Revival Eucharist by Trumpers sandalwood pepper honey and blackcurrant so it's dark described as a dark barber shop the brush is another Wickham limited edition it's the black outlaw silver tip uh, it's got the Wickham coin on the bottom this was released as part of the Apricus from the year before from 2019 limited edition and this is the brush as it came from Steve allowed for shaving so I thought we'd go for a an old black shave might even make a nice fancy thumbnail for this one the knot in this brush isn't the greatest but it's silver tip it's quite soft and floppy a bit like the after 10 pints so we've got the stepdaughter and her partner downstairs been fed after the shave we'll get them watered they're not fucking horses but you know what I mean we'll get some get some liquid goodness into the system and then we'll uh, look at getting some food we've been visiting families well, extended parts of the family all afternoon and every house we've gone into is like have some to eat not more food I don't know where this knot's from. I say it's not the, not the firmest. It wouldn't be. It's not one I reach for very often. Put it like that. Despite the brush looking so good. There's very really little backbone to it. It's extremely soft. No scrub. It's had very few uses. we're just gonna 
roll it up again. So how's your weekend going? Saturday night as I record this. I've got no idea. Hopefully try and get it edited and published on Sunday. So it's in line with the, the two day drops that we've been doing recently. But we'll see how things part tonight. At least I'm recording it before I had a whiskey. Hands in is a thing. I can see why Ian recommissioned this soap. It's a crack and scent. Johan over at Shaven Butcher used Eucharis cream in a recent video last couple of days. He tried the hard soap and said it's shit. Not my words. Not somebody who bought it. Uh, I've never bought a Eucharist. I don't think I've actually got anything from Trumper. So as you can see, we're not getting a huge volume of saliva. Not just isn't allowing it. But it is extremely soft. I've quite enjoyed the Masamuni so far. Uh, both shaves, a couple hours afterwards, just down the neck, it's, this felt a little bit sore and tingly. Like there's been a mild irritation. There hasn't been, there's been nothing. We just felt that way. Like a little bit of razor burn. So I don't know what's been causing that, because realistically, in it might be the lack of weight. Maybe without realising it, I'm subconsciously applying pressure to the blade. And the blade's the giant stainless red, which is now in its fourth use. That one there. I felt it more on the last shave than the first one, but we used a bigger blade cap and top cap. So we've got Massimoni top cap, handle, no Dachi base plate, 0.90mm blade gap and a negative blade exposure of 0.03mm. Again, because it's got a negative blade exposure despite the blade gap, This feels extremely comfortable. We might have found the sweet, sweet spot. I did say I was going to use the full Nadachi in this shave. And a couple of minutes before I turned the camera on, I changed my mind. I thought I want something comfortable because I want to be in and out of the bathroom because we have family visiting. And I've still got to edit this and upload it and do everything else that goes along with doing videos for YouTube. I also need to use the razor because it's on a pass around and I've only got it for a certain amount of time. So far, we're on to a winner.
maybe it's just me, I like blades with negative blade exposure. No point splaying Martin, just paint it. There's enough soap in there. Could just stop there and come on, brush, give me the lather back, you pig. camera might have a go with this setup in this configuration as a head shaver. That's how comfortable it feels. Extremely manoeuvrable because of the lack of weight. 50 grams there thereabouts. Oh, right, where are we at? How long have we been going for? Mm, 14 minutes. Right, the post shave is going to be Balm, which is Wickham's Gothic Revival. The second part of the post shave is going to be Splash, which is Wickham's Gothic Revival. To match the soap that we used today, which was Wickham's Gothic Revival, available from the groom room in Dun the gentleman's groom room in Dundee. A link in the description below. As far as shaves go, that was the best Tatara shave yet. That was the most comfortable, easy to use. That has hit every note. In that configuration, I would say that setup is very, very similar to something like the home like start with a 0.9 blade gap. So that's got a negative blade exposure or a very close to neutral blade exposure. Extremely comfortable. 
we are done. I'm not going to faff around with Porsche on camera. If you have any questions or comments, apart from the fact that not, not the best in the brush, we know that one, uh, leave them below. I've got the guitar for another week. Don't know how many more videos there are going to be with it. Uh, I'll do, I'll do, I will do a full Nodachi head with it uh, at some point. But that shave, spot on. Right folks, questions, comments or anything else, leave them below. Thanks for watching and bye for now.